creation of profile. In the case of hackers, the first effort to create the profile of the hacker happened in the year 1985. A system was developed to classify the hackers based on their activities in five categories namely novice, student, tourist, crasher and thief. Another famous criminologist Richard Hollinger, he studied the university students who were the primary population of criminal computer activity at that time. He concluded that the students individually fit into three categories. They are the pirates, browsers and the crackers. In 1998, Don Parker concluded from a study of hackers that cyber criminals could fit into seven substantial criminal profiles such as pranksters, hacksters, malicious hackers, personal problem solvers, career criminals, extreme advocates and finally mall contents. Through a combination of the previous research conducted on hackers, Marcus Rogers create an updated hacker taxonomy that includes eight distinctive categories. They are the novices, cyberpunks, internals, petty thieves, virus writers, old god hackers, professional criminals and finally information warfare hackers. The novice category of course includes hackers who are in the early stages of developing their computer and programming skills and they conduct network attacks. The majority of the people in this category are motivated by the thrill and uh, that can come from infiltrating a system and the bracky rights. A step up from the novice hacker is a cyberpunk. This category encompasses people who have a few knowledge of computer skills and they are able to write code without the need for literature or tutorials. They obtain a high sense when engaged in malicious activities such as spamming, unsuspecting users, vandalizing the web pages or participating in credit card or identity theft frauds. Internals, on the other hand, make up the greatest risks out of all the categories even if they are the least publicized category. It has been argued that internals should not be considered as hackers as they belong to the category of cyber crime of different types. The next category is petty thieves who are hacking to take forward their other criminal activities. They are basically less interested in fame and more interested in money making. Hence this group only um, is motivated in financial gain and greed. Next comes a virus writer. This category was created as a placeholder by Rogers in the year 2006. He indicated that virus writers tend to be individuals in their late 20s who professionally write scripts and codes by hacking with malicious intent. Next comes the old god hackers. This category shares the same interests as the novice category. While focusing on the thrill of the intellectual challenge that comes with hacking, old gods rarely hack a system with criminal intent. Next comes the professional criminals. They are individuals who have created a cyber criminal enterprise and strive to increase it with each online activity. They try to develop their skills to keep up with technological advancements, in turn increase their revenue. They learn the advanced technologies quickly to exploit the same. The information warfare hackers, they are the one those who not only conduct attacks but also defend against them. They are deemed to be highly trained security professionals motivated by the need to defend their country. The common hacker types are internals and the fishers. Internals. History has shown that the most cost effective group has been internal personnel who attack their own company. The internal group is predominantly made up of resentful employees or ex-employees who seek revenge and use their access privilege to attack their own 
companies, computers and networks. Revenge motives people to conduct internal attacks. They feel that they have been wrongfully fired or not appreciated for their efforts made for the company. Next come fishers. One of the primary objectives of fisher phishing attacks is to steal identities online to gain access to finance. To accomplish this goal, fishers trick the users by creating fake emails and pretending to be a reputable company so the users feel comfortable to disclose their credentials. The majority of the fishers prefer to carry out their crime in a team rather than individually to reach more people. Fishers generally share three different motives for obtaining users' information online. Most fishers use the personal information they acquire to commit a fraud such as government agency scams or charity donation fraud. The second highest reason for phishing is strictly for money. The third and the most popular reason for phishing involves submitting false claims to the Internal Revenue Service. The following table depicts the different cyber criminals and their significant traits and motives. We will see one of the other. First, the novice hacker. They are between the age group of 13 and 18. They admire illegal computer activity. The motive behind that is bragging rights, thrill of infiltrating systems. Second category is the cyberpunk hacker. They are computer trained professionals. They are able to write a small amount of code without tutorials. They attack high profile companies. Their motive is to take the media attention. Third internal hacker. They are resentful employees, mostly male around 37 years old. They tend to steal work they created when employed. Their motive is sabotage, revenge, job opportunity at opposing company. The fourth category is pretty thief. They are little interested people in fame. They use hacking to further their criminal activities and their motive is the financial gain. Next is the world god hacker. They have well developed technical skills. They are helpful towards hacking community. And their motive is ongoing curiosity for computer systems and intellectual challenge. Virus writers. They are individuals in their late 20s. They are able to professionally write scripts and code. And their intent is malicious intent. Professional criminal hacker. No interest in attention or frame. They have mature level of computer skills. They tend to be in organized criminal groups. And their motive is increase their cyber criminal enterprise and financial gain. Fisher. So these are the people who aim to gain financial information by stealing identities, highly developed social engineering skills, prefer team settings, target elderly people and of course their major motive is financial gain. Cyber stalkers. They use emails to stalk, threaten victims using Facebook and Twitter their motive is to instill fear, proclaim love and revenge. Finally, the SEIC possessor. They are employed, no prior arrests, minimal technical skills. They have interest in other paraphilic subject matters and their main motive is only sexual impulses. So, the stable clearly depicted the different cyber criminals, their significant traits and motive.